You guys are in for a treat today. Today's show, we did a commercial glue down carpet for a school. It's owned by the county. Um, it's a smaller school for children that have some special needs. So some of these kids are pretty um, violent, basically. And we had a lot of blood, urine, vomit, feces, and of course, tears from the staff that work at this school, one of which is actually Heather Cole's girlfriend. So. We've cleaned this before about a year ago, but man, it was not in nearly this bad a condition. So it cleaned up tremendous. We got some, like I said, really, really incredible uh, video. So without further ado, enjoy this one. Please mash the thumbs up, leave a comment below of your favorite part. And of course, please, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel for more nasty, amazing, incredible, fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching. <music> Heather said that spot right there was blood and um, feces. Okay. So I'll maybe um, go a little heavy on that. No, no, we'll just go around those or under them or whatever. We might move that then. Yeah, if you see a specific area, we probably will. This room's one of the, probably the worst rooms you can see here. Some of the spots, this hasn't even been pre-sprayed yet. We did a very quick preliminary pre-vacuuming to see, get some of the bigger items up. Um, but you can see we've got everything from paint to feces, urine, vomit, blood, like I mentioned. Um, and of course a lot of tears, but this room just in really, really rough shape. So you'll see here shortly the transformation. This thing cleans up incredibly well, looks almost brand new. I don't think anything doesn't come out. You gonna start in here? Okay. And this is like the cool down room. They bring the kids to chill out. And here you can see here we have some black latex paint. It's already been pre-sprayed with a really strong preconditioner. And you're about to see us hit it with a CRB and bunch of solvents. Uh, say something bad about coal. Something bad? Oh, that's too easy to do. I'm surprised it's <laughs> not like flexing and stuff. Don't worry. So this big old spot of black latex paint wasn't here when we did the initial walkthrough a couple weeks ago, and Heather Cole's girlfriend Heather and I were hanging out yesterday uh, and she mentioned that there was a large black latex paint spot and I let him know I let her know right away it probably wouldn't come out um, but when we got there we were surprised to see that just a CRB and preconditioner lightened it up quite a bit you can see here Cole went ahead and put down a solvent we used two different solvents one was a citrus gel and the other one was a chemical called POG or POG which stands for paint, oil, and grease. And you can see he's agitating it in with a tool called a gum getter. Turned out really, really good after everything.
They, uh, Heather wants you to flex a little. She says she's surprised you weren't already flexing a little bit. So go ahead. Go, oh, you were? Because we couldn't tell. We couldn't tell. Did that dark spot come out? That, is that that one you see our bead over there? Yeah. Okay. And then I use the minnow spray, and then I use that gel. Okay. So and that you got better? Yeah. Okay. We got pog right out by the door too, so. Yeah, maybe like right in through here. This stuff's pretty rough. This again is that really, really bad room. And you can see after we pre-sprayed, almost all those spots have already lightened up. But I did have Tristan grab the 10-inch counter-rotating brush machine just to do some more damage in terms of lightening those up before we did the hot water extraction. I'm going to see what Heather thinks about that paint spot real quick. Heather, come check out that black paint real quick. Oh, you did? Isn't that crazy? It's a lot better. That is crazy. I you can still see where it is, but it's not. I mean, it's way, yeah, way better. Yeah, I don't better, think that so. would come out at all. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot better. How's that coming? Coming along good. This room's not too bad in terms of spots, though. I don't think. I don't think the kids come in here too often. Or that citrus gel, that'll probably work on that too. That's uh, by the front door, just so you know. This room was pretty bad, and it turned out really good. Didn't it, so far? Yeah, that came right out. That whole big spot is completely gone. That's awesome. See that window, Thomas? See your window? Keep an eye on that. You can see how dark it is still. That kind of gives you a clue on how quickly or, or slowly you want to be going. The darker that window is, the more heavily soiled it is. So. I'll get it. Flip yeah, when we don't do a good pre-vac, you're going to have, yeah, which is fine. It is what it is. So this was the first job of the day. We had, I think, three or four more jobs after this one, but we both got here, or all, all three vans, all five of us arrived at the same time right at 9 a.m., which was kind of fun riding to the job because we rolled right through town, uh, three vans deep, which was kind of cool. But we went ahead and got here, right I said, at 9. We took about 15 or 20 minutes to pick up the items and prepare it, and then we went ahead and vacuumed. Uh, for probably only another about 15 or 20 minutes. Again, we kind of 
hurried through that step of the cleaning process in this job um, just because it's a commercial glue down carpet we just kind of got the big items up but went ahead and started preconditioning and then we were done right at 11 so two hours uh, 1695 dollar job again we've cleaned this carpet before about a year ago and they mentioned the fact that they would probably like to have it cleaned twice a year but they did um, hire a woman who was supposed to be maintaining it along the way obviously she um, didn't do a, a wonderful job they were a little bit dismayed by that but again they remembered us having cleaned this last year and we did such a good job that they had us come back out and again we did a really really good job this thing turned out amazing they were very impressed but before right before we got done um, the older van that we have the direct drive which is a CDS 4.8 with the salsa um, hydromaster machine it actually stopped working so we we didn't know what was wrong we had a little trouble with the pressure of the water coming out of the wand I went ahead and pulled what's called the doghouse which sits over top of a bunch of the mechanics in between the driver's seat and I noticed the belt that attaches from the PTO or direct drive drivetrain to the pump was shredded so we actually had to pack it up um, and leave one van to finish this job again still finished in two hours but we dropped the other one off at our mechanic in town in hopes that we can get that belt replaced uh, in the next day or two so fortunately we have a backup van kind of one of the reasons we have a backup van to begin with um, but again job still turned out awesome we were able to get the other van and complete all the other jobs no problem oh sorry Wow, dude. This looks like a totally different classroom. Damn. Unbelievable. Had it not been for the van breaking, I certainly would have got a video uh, walking through to showcase how great it looked, although you did get to see the one room that was in really bad condition and, again, turned out incredible. Looks almost brand new. I think every single spot 
came out of there. Um, but the van broke, so not only did I fail to get the after walkthrough, but I also failed to get a good shot of the chocolate milk <laughs> or dump water. So I apologize for that. I promise to get a much better video of that uh, next time. But again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, especially all the way till the end. So if you have made it all the way to the end, put that in the comments below. Hey, made it to the end. Mash the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.